What is up, Ludi Bros Army? It's your boy, Big Bro Lamar Ludi, and we're coming with another set of reveals today. First thing in the morning, able to get up and check these out. SPRs and winter cards. Don't forget to check out the rest of the black reveals too. All right, let's do it. Jumping right in. Supreme Kai of Time, Time Labyrinth Unleashed. Counter, attack, negate the attack, and play this card. Permanent, if you or your opponent have three or more cards in their warp, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by two. Okay, so it comes down to one. If your leader card is black, when this card is played using its counterattack skill, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to its owner's warp. At the end of the turn, play any cards sent to the warp by this skill to their owner's battle areas with their skills negated for the turn. Very nice. This is a very, very nice uh, artwork. I'm loving this artwork. This is SPR, Supreme Kai of Time, Time Labyrinth Unleashed. Looks awesome. I love this artwork. Ooh, Domingra Momentary Ally. Look at this artwork for the SPR. This is cool. I like this one a lot. This is that unison that we saw previously. Artwork looks awesome. Activate main, place up to two black battle cards from your warp into your drop. Uh, activate main minus three, add up to two battle cards with energy cost of seven or less and the overrun skill from your warp back to your hand. If your lead card is a black sand only or god only card, when you play battle card using overrealm, this card games wormhole for the turn. This is nice. The artwork is just awesome. Let's see what's coming up next. Bojack Rampaging, Agent of Destruction. PR. Permanent. When this card is in rest mode, your opponent battle your opponent's battle cards with energy cost greater than or equal to their current energy can't attack leader cards. That's right. When this card is KO'd, you're gonna draw one. Auto for one energy. If your leader card is a Bojack Brigade card or has Agent of Destruction the card name at the end of the battle. Uh, at the end of the battle, which this card is using a combo from your hand or your energy, you can play this card from your drop area and rest. Looks cool. Artwork looks cool. Chilled the Assailant. Deflect. The artwork on these things is nice. These are the winner cards. Tapping two energy. Discard this card from your hand. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. The energy costs less than or equal to the number of cards in their hand, ignoring barrier and KO it. That's right. check out what's next android 16 stalwart different this is cool i like this one he's all fired up right here i like this one a lot arriving him out for blue green for one blue energy he can ko a four cost or he can search out a two drop so that's nice oh my gosh ss3 gogeta thwarting the dark empire the artwork on the other one was awesome and then look at this winner card oh man this is way even better this is even better. Somehow they topped it. Somehow they topped it. And this card is just crazy. Uh, unique double strike over um six for one energy or a union fusion of Sun Go Gogeta Zeno and uh, Vegeta Zeno. Permanent, you can choose battle cards in your warp when uh, choosing cards to use with this card's union skill. And you put them in your drop. And then when he attacks, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and you send it to their warp. This guy's awesome. Yeah, somehow they topped the previous artwork because I was saying that um, I thought that artwork was my favorite so far. Demon God Putin Ritual at Hand. We did see this card when they revealed the blacks. So if your leader card is a black Mickey Kabora card, negate the attack and play this card. If it's your opponent's turn and you choose one card in your hand and place it at the bottom of your deck, when this card is played, your opponent can't attack for the turn unless they choose two cards in their hand and sends them to their warp each time. So it's the black topo. Sun Goten Fusion Renewed. I think this is a new one. Overrealm 2. Activate main if your leader card is a Black Supreme Kai of Time and you discard this card from your hand. Look at up to 7 cards from the top of your deck. Add up to 1 Black Battle card with an energy cost of 2 or less and the Overrealm skill. Or up to 1 Black Unison card with 9,000 power and no specified cost among them to your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Okay, you can activate the Activate main skill on copies of this card for the turn. So he's going to search out your Unison, that Demigra. He's going to go ahead and search that or another battle card. Sun Goten Time Patrols Charity. Oh, this is the super combo. If your leader card is black and there are five or more cards in your warp, when this card is used in a combo, draw one, and he's already got the 10K boost. Okay. <laughs> Funny little artwork on this one, Time Patrols Charity. I like it. I like it. Trunks Fusion Renewed. Blocker. Counterplay. Send two cards from your drop area to your warp. Play this card. Permanent, if you have a battle card with the Overrealm skill in play, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost. Oh, I like that. I like that. Auto for one energy. When this card is played, it gains revenge for the turn. Okay. Interesting. Very good. 
Go tanks, fusion renew. Here's the three drop go tanks. Blocker, counter attacks, and three cards from your drop area to your warp. Negate the attack and play this card. Permanent, if you have a battle card with an energy cost of six in play and it's your opponent's turn, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one. Okay, so it comes down to a two, uh, two drop. You send three cards from your drop area to your warp. You can play him out and he's got blockers. So you're getting an instant blocker. Auto, when this card attacks, play up to three black battle cards from your warp in your drop area. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of three or less and since the owner's warp. That's pretty good. So he's gonna come out, he's gonna attack. Three cards from your warp come back into your drop. Then you choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of three or less and you send those to the warp. This guy's got some very nice, uh, very nice flexibility in how you can use him. That's pretty nice. Oof, there is some artwork right there. Dark Broly the Vindicator, unique overroam six for one energy. Auto once per turn. If your leader card is black and your opponent has three or more energy, at the end of a battle in which this card attacked, you can't play copies of this card for the turn. Choose one. Place up to six black battle cards with 3, 000, uh, 30, 000 power from your warp into your drop. Choose up to one Dark Broly card with an energy cost of seven in your hand or warp and play on top of this card. Wow, so... <laughs> man, uh, Dark Broly, which is already one of the top decks, you know, in the, med in the meta scene, is getting even more support. It's This is going to be crazy. Wow. The artwork, and this is just a common. The artwork is nice. Wow, I really like this card. <laughs> I like this card. I don't play Dark Broly. Um, I did use some of it for my um, OG Toa deck profile. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, go check it out. But this is instantly splashing into that deck for some good fun. Man. All right, that was nice. Let's see what's up next. Demon God Toa, Offering of the Dark Dragon Ball. Super combo. Oh, here's a super combo. Sparking five. So if you have five cards in your drop, if your leader card is black, when this card is used in a combo, draw one. Nice. Offering of the Dark Dragon Balls. Dark Masked King, Pursuit of Power. This is some nice artwork right here. Kind of reminds me of some Anbu stuff from Naruto, taking off the mask. Permanent, if your opponent has two or more energy and one or more battle card in their warp, this card gets plus 6,000 power and can attack your opponent's battle cards in active mode. Okay, so it goes up to a 10K. Activate main for one black energy. If your opponent has five or more cards in their warp, choose up to one black King Vegeta Zeno card with an energy cost of six from your deck or your hand. Play it on top of this card in active mode, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. That is nice. That's really nice because you can just cheat. You can cheat this stuff out very easily sending cards to the warp with all of the um, things that we've seen so far from the blacks. This is a very nice little play. Nice. Demon God Gravy Ritual Hand. Why is he looking like Thor here? Auto once per turn. When this card attacks, your opponent may send one battle card from their drop area to their warp. If they don't, this card gets plus 15,000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. Man, homeboy is looking like he's got a mule near here in his hand. Ritual at hand. Debora Ritual at Hand. Auto for one energy. When this card is discarded from your hand by an opponent's skill, play this card from your drop area. Auto when this card is played, draw two cards. Wow. That's a nice, uh, nice little pickup. When this card is played, draw two. And we're back at the top. Oh, there was a lot of nice artwork uh, in today's reveals. I really liked that. So, yep, we checked them out. Let's go back just to make sure we read... Read the blurb. SPRs and winner cards. Don't forget to check out the black reveals, which we did. Uh, good morning, DBSG fans. Black SPRs, tournament pack, volume four, winner cards, and the remaining black cards are here. What do you think about these cards now that, the, uh, that almost the entire set has been revealed? Let us know what you think of these cards and make sure to check our page this weekend. Oh, for some very special reveals. Okay, so I'll be coming back. I'll be checking for some reveals over the weekend. So make sure you guys are coming back to Ludi Bros Entertainment to check those reveals out with me. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning into this video and have a good rest of your day.